Medieval is a benchmarking initiative dedicated to evaluating new algorithms for multimedia access and retrieval and focuses on human and social aspects of multimedia tasks. Researchers from around the world collaborate on tackling common challenges in multimedia and although they work on their approaches in separate teams, they come together once a year to disseminate the results and meet each other face to face. While the hard work and its results can be read about in detail in the initiative's working notes and eventual published papers, I wanted to show the human side of this scientific endeavour. This year we have people who have been here since the beginning, as well as first-timers. Tackling challenges from social event detection, search and hyperlinking, and spoken web search, to geographic placing, violent scene detection and visual privacy, researchers coming from a variety of backgrounds present their findings at the workshop. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes by organisers and volunteers. And away from the presentations, attendees make the most of coffee breaks and meals to talk to colleagues and collaborators, old and new. This is a community that brings together visual content people and other you know, social media. Yes. I'm really interested in what happens at the placing task, what are new approaches, uh, whether they're interested in textual or visual uh, features, uh, how they combine it. So last year, we had around 50 to 60 people at our workshop, but then suddenly it jumped up to, to 100 this year, uh, with nearly 100 papers. Uh, so the growth is um, it's been really surprising, really gratifying. Um, it's really uh, it's exciting to see the, the interest in the tasks and how much work people are willing to do. I see here, I see more than in our conferences, kind of questions like, okay, what is this useful for? And what's the use of it? And I think this is a good reflection of the way media was conceived from the beginning to have like, real more problems translated into evaluation tasks. And this is really good. It's, it's really nice to meet people again because there's a certain core group of people who are there who are at other conferences and you start to get to know them, you go out for drinks afterwards. And some of the best ideas happen over drinks in the evening and just have wild ideas and not bound by a specific task. And just get, oh, wouldn't it be nice if? And um, that's something I really enjoy. I loved this year's uh, uh, poster session with the coffee and, so, and you know, the, the continual ongoing conversation of people just turning from one poster to the next and the interplay between everyone in what was a very relaxed setting but a very informative setting. It was a lot of fun. The annual workshops help researchers forge working relationships. Opportunities for future collaboration can emerge in unexpected places, like at the end of last year's workshop. On the final day, it was decided that uh, there would be a social outing, uh, so we were going to take the train to a nearby town uh, from Pisa, where the workshop was. And actually, it turned out that the people running the task, we kind of sat around on the train, and we, we planned a paper on the train on the way back from dinner, and the paper happened. Um, and that was, kind of, that was kind of fun. So it was a fun meeting sitting on the train discussing ideas and it was even more fun looking back thinking actually that really, that was the seed of a, of a really good paper and a really good collaboration between half a dozen research groups. And after presenting findings, winning awards, meeting collaborators and planning new work together, attendees head home with the thoughts of next year's workshop already in mind.